Hello everybody, welcome to an final let's build here. So in today's let's build, we're building Koenig Cerberus. It is the Eugen Special, or Eugene Special. Don't know how you pronounce that name. I have not watched the anime much, really, and I've not read the manga either, so I can't really say much on it. Overall, I'm excited to build this beat of on them. It's a really cool looking one. See there, it shoots the two marbles. This one reminds me a lot of Drift Tracker or Drift Peacock or whatever the heck you want to call it. Uh, Though I'm hoping this one's a bit more powerful than that one. Because, ooh boy, does Drift Jacker have some horrible power to him. And you actually get full motion with the little spin wheel, too. So, I've been excited to build this one. This is like one of those ones where it's like, ooh, I'm excited to try this out. So, overall, the not too much going on on this packaging. It shows the whole gimmick and how it works. And you got the whole little backing to it as well explaining a bit of stuff and then you got the side explaining more of the gimmicks of the two marbles the whole power concept with the power ring and talking about OS gear which I do not have any currently I do have some coming along because it's just been in shipping process so sorry y'all but uh one is coming around soonish so I will get to doing a video about that I don't know if I need to do, I don't know if I want to grab a bomber when I do that video or not, because I don't know if this bomber will work, actually, the one I have up there. I might have to try that and see if it will or not. I guess we'll have fun and see later on, because, I don't know, just one of those random little things, because I don't know if this one really comes apart in that unique way, really. I also doesn't even have an opening in the back. The idea how this one works is you have to push a marble into it. So, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll figure out later on. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Uh, fun of knowing me as, not, as I get, constantly get distracted. But let's pull out all of our fun stuff here. So, pull that out. That is pretty much the end of the box right there. So, we're going to put that behind me. And let's see, we got our sticker sheet here, which is still actually in good condition. Pretty nice, pretty nice overall. You do actually get some color choice on this one, by the way. So you could go with green, blue. Don't know what the whole purpose of that is, really, to be honest. I'd, I'll probably go with the anime accurate colors, but that's after I scan them in and make my own version of the stickers. Because, I'll be honest, these are from uh, 1997. I really doubt they stick. If... Battle beat them on ones don't stick, then you probably know those ones won't stick. So overall, we got our fun little trays here. So we got the OS gear piece and the whole power ring concept down here. We got the body itself, which overall looks pretty simple. Got the fun trigger mechanism, which, ooh, look at how long that trigger is. Must have the nice middle support piece for the trigger, too. And of course, you got the claw gimmick here. Which, it actually looks pretty cool on this one. I, I like the whole claw gimmick. We have seen something similar to this before with Drift Tracker, which if, I don't know if, if you watch my vi uh, build video on that or not. The whole concept is you have one piece that holds the rubber down there and it just turns around to allow you to have, have whatever direction. Though this one will be a lot more freeing than Drift Tracker's because there's a, no like locking piece to it or anything like that. And of course, we got another layer of bits and bobs here. We've got the little back hatch, the little side pieces, and our really long spring, which is looking in good condition. So, I'm going to sit down, chop these all out, and smash them all together, pretty much. These builds are usually pretty quick and simple, so be a fun one to do this one. Be back in a second, though, so see ya. We are back from trimming all the pieces, so putting the rubber one down there because the rubber one's like super tiny but uh we're back from trimming all the pieces now so let's get on to building so the fun part about this one this one actually has a bit of a reverse kind of thing so in most beat em up builds usually this part is uh the one that goes towards the outside and then there's like a little hole parts in this one but the super beat em up one decided it wanted to be different and it's actually flipped in a weird sense i probably should put the spring in or nope, spring goes in the other way. Ha ha ha. Doing great. So, pretty simple. It's very interesting that it is very designed like this, I guess. 
wasn't expecting it to be designed like this. And I'm going to flip it, not the other way around, okay. Very weird one so far, but, uh... <laughs> Let's see. The joys of doing this is each and every time you have to sit there and push these things in. And there you go. It's kind of just done like that now. Kind of like the trigger. It's nice and big for your thumb. And I would probably never recommend taking this apart. Uh... It probably has the same issue as most of these other little trigger mechanisms where once you build it, taking it apart is probably never going to happen again. So, watch out for that fun. So now we have to start building the bottom here. So we're going to take this weird little piece here, which does the same thing that Drift Tracker does where one marble can rest behind it, but then another one gets pushed to the front. It does a cool little, like, hold, uh... It lasts for, what is it, one marble shooting and two marble shooting? It's kind of cool like, concept. I like the idea of it so far. It's one of those weirder concepts. And does this not just hold in there? Ooh, that's weird. Yeah, it just doesn't hold in there. Okay, I guess we'll put that piece in last before we move on, I guess. Or no, actually, probably the best way of doing this is here. Looking through it, and I'm like, ooh. Making sure, because this is like one of those weirder ones where it's like, ooh, uh, all the fun and joy of this. So, you want to take a little rubber piece here and shove it in this little hole. And, like always, this is a bit of a pain in the butt for me, because it's uh, not an easy process for me half the time. But there you go. Because that nice little power sh uh, to shot to it. I like that. I like how it can also be positioned downwards this time, so you can actually get some actual power out of this one, which is really impressive, because last time we built one of these things, it didn't really have that nice power boost to it. So now we want to take our little side piece here, and then at this point, I'm guessing we're taking our halves here, so we're going to find our one of our body halves, and I guess we're just trying to laying everything down into it. So I'm going to put the hold parts down real quickly. And we're going to figure out which side's the face. This is the face side, as you can tell, with the peg right here. Because the face is pegged into these types. And all you have to do here is just... There you go. Now you see there, the arm is actually connected to the inside of the hold pieces. Which I don't think this one will really have much of an effect on, like, trying to do a whole ES power thing. So I wouldn't really recommend trying that, but uh, if you're tempted by that, you can actually mess around with it. Next up, you want to put the little power thing in there, or the hold parts. I see the hold parts are actually separate from the core, so that's why I said you aren't really going to have that whole ES boost thing going for this one, unlike some of the other ones we've already looked into. Overall, I really like the core design, though. The core has actually been really interesting on this build. I'm trying to see if I can... I don't know if I have that in properly or not. I'm like, ooh. Don't know why it's not just molded into the core itself, but... Oh well, I guess they just wanted to do it that way. Ah, come on. Did it, did it lose grip out of the thing again? Did it do it properly? Yeah, it's in there properly. Okay, making sure. Like, ooh. Just doesn't want to close these back parts yet. And, okay, there we go. Finally, everything snapped on together. So there's our core now. Looks pretty nice. Everything's assembled in there. And the gimmick of it, on the idea is that you see... Oh. Okay. Guess it doesn't do the one thing yet, so I guess we're gonna hold off on that fun. We're gonna take our face here, and I see one of the more interesting things of this is that the face is actually a different color from the body, which is very interesting. Like I, after I was looking at that, I was like, oh, that's weird. So, face just plops on into this whole fun mechanism. And there you go, face just plops on in. Looks pretty nice so far. And then now we're wanting to take our little power ring here. 
This just does a little power boost all on its own. Pretty simple little thing though. It just plops on in, and there we go. Kind of a weird gimmick, but huh. there's nothing pegging into it either anyway. So it's one of another one of those fun uh just holds on in until you get the arms on in. And now we're gonna put some arms on. So take our arm here, plop it against this little fun core piece here. Which there we go. You just want to push that over and it holds the power ring in. And then you want to do the same thing with the other side. Just make sure it's holding on that little piece in the middle there. Very weirdly done. I don't know. It's a very interesting gimmick overall so far. But now we have our arms in. So now we want to take the leg pieces. So here's probably something interesting about the legs. So it seems like the legs will actually push up that little center core piece in there. So I'm kind of curious if it actually does that. These legs do not want to jam on in there though, that's for sure. Ooh. Oh, yep, it did. So you see the legs actually pushed up the core now. So now you see there. That little flap piece right there can now actually be used properly. So there you go, you, got, you can actually hold the marble up at the front. Pretty cool. Yeah. And the marble went all the way down. So overall that's kind of the little end piece there for Koenig himself. But we still got his barrel to build because it's just kind of included in there. We also have the little hatch here for the back. Never like get really using these things because they're kind of pointless. But I'll plop it on in for y'all. Seriously, they're like some of my not favorite parts of putting these in. Ooh. Don't know why this one's starting to fight so much. On the These like back hatch things are like the most annoying thing to me in the world at this point. Okay, maybe not. I don't, I'm not gonna put that in there. <laughs> I was like, eh, maybe, and then I was like, no, this is actually becoming tedious. But overall, that's Koenig right there. Pretty cool build overall. But we still have his little OS part. You can't sadly use it currently because you still need the whole OS gear for it. But all you're having to do is just take this side and this side and just plop it on in pretty much. You're just kind of shoving it in there. And there you go. The idea is it gives access to your little barrel mechanism. So it's overall pretty simple. Yep, you, know, you make sure you want to actually push it fully in there though. But yeah, the idea is it straps over the barrel piece right here and it actually gives like full access to controlling it all. So. Pretty cool idea. You see where it holds the little three parts. And then just allows you to twirl the pieces in. And I guess before we get going, might as well give the whole gimmick a try. So, first off, let's try the two marble part of it. Grab a marble from the bag of marbles. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Take the front one. Push it up with the wonderful gimmick, and then plop another one in there. And now we actually have the ability to use two marbles. Ooh. You can also sit there and turn the little core piece around to have more power and stuff like that. But overall, not too bad of a little idea. And I guess before we end it off, let's see if we can get some cool little test shots in there. Brought out some actual beat -em on pins today. Or here, let's try... Nah, I guess we'll try two shot. So there's one shot. And there's another shot. And wow, this thing's really spin. Yeah, this is way more powerful than, uh... Little, the uh, Drift Jacker. 
That actually has some intense power to him. I was not expecting that. So. Now let's try the whole little gimmick thing here. So, the idea is if you, like, move it around. So, we'll do a top one here. And the idea is if you pop it in for the top or whatever, it's supposed to just come right back to us. Which, as you see there, did it perfectly. I uh, guess we'll show it off one more time. That actually works really well. I was That's really shocking how well that works. Uh, let's try doing it at the little left angle here. You can see. And I think the idea is that once it hits, it's supposed to bounce this direction. So, just let's give it a shot and find out. That didn't really do us much good, did it, that time around? Oh, nope, it's the other direction, okay. So you see there, it kind of bounced off in a different direction. So, let's see. There you go. Pretty cool little idea. And then I guess if you want to turn it the other way, you can do that. Probably shouldn't be using a uh, beat em on block for this. But good thing is it has stuff inside, so it's not going to get too heavily messed up. And yeah, that goes the other way. That's really cool. So, overall the gimmick works pretty well. I dropped the marble. I uh, showed off with the other one real quickly. And we lost two marbles now. But as you see there, the gimmick works really well. This is actually like one of the coolest ones. I'm going to be excited to do a whole review on this one. I'm going to mess around with this guy a bit more. And at some point we'll be doing a review on it. Waiting for a Beast PV to come on in. But once that happens, we'll be doing a full-on review. And also waiting for OS gear because I kind of want to mess around with all the gimmicks and stuff that come with this dude. Same with the other OS ones I own. So... That's pretty much it on this build. Thank y'all for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!